Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today I'm speaking at the end of a great service led by Bishop uh, Samson and Bishop Emeritus Stephen was in, was present and in attendance in the service. The Christians of ACK St. Matthew's, Jeb Kapechak, and ACK, the entire ACK, Emmanuel Nasopol Parish, gathered today for an arambe. And to God be the glory and honor. We have managed to raise around 730,000. But our target was over a million. Let me express my sincere appreciation to all of you who supported us in kind and who supported us in cash with resources so that the church of God may be built at this particular place. Today, allow me to share only one word. The reading today was drawn from Psalm 44. Psalm 44 is a psalm that we do not know exactly when it was written. Some of the scholars believe that it was written during the time of David, the time that he experienced defeat after his son Absalom wanted to take over the throne and to do a coup d'etat. This psalm was written in a time of defeat. And there are many things that we go through in this life. Some of us have gone through disappointments. Some of us have gone through despair. Some of us have gone through pain, sorrow, and loss. But no matter what we go through, we hope in God. The title of my sharing today is that no matter what we go through, we hope in God. And there are three things that I want to say. We hope in God as we remember what he has done, what he has done in the past. He created us, he is sustaining us, and he is indeed our God. Without him, we can do nothing. Here in Chepkapechak, we have gone through difficult times. Sometimes nobody passed at this church. Sometimes they faced difficult times and challenges. But I want to tell you that despite what they have gone through, they have always remembered what God did to them. It is God that enabled this church to be established in 1976. The first preacher was the Bishop Emeritus Stephen. It is him that enabled our patriarch, Mze Solomon Nyorsok, to have a vision of building such a magnificent structure. When we go through the sorrow and difficult times, whatever we go through, let's always remember what God has done for us and our God will always do it again. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Number two, when we go through difficult times, let us remember, let us remember what we are facing. You may be facing danger, difficulties, or hardship, but whatever you are going through, God's presence is always with us. Number two, God is always faithful. Whatever we go through right now, let's remember that it will not remain like this forever. This church will never remain like this forever. By next year, we will have, uh, we'll have uh, put blocks and we'll be planning the consecration of this church. And we will go and establish other churches. Whatever you're going through, it will not remain like that forever. God has a better plan. Lastly, lastly, as I conclude, through whatever you go through, let us remember that there is a coming king. Today is the first day in our Anglican calendar, the day of Advent. We celebrate the Lord who came and he was born in a manger. He was born in the time of nativity. God in his love incarnated and he was born by the Virgin Mary. He lived a victorious, he lived a virtuous life. He 
victor he vicariously was crucified on the cross. Victoriously, he resurrected. Becoming Lord is told in Psalm 40, 44, verse 26 to 28. Awake, God. Awake. May the Lord awake. And as he awakes, may he work in our lives. May he work in this church. May he use the people and the resources so that this church will be concluded. It is my honest prayer that by the end of this year, if God touches you, we will reach a million shillings. Two, 277,000 is left. You can support us so that we build this church. It, has, it is at the heart of West Pokot County, and from it, we can reach many people. And the coming Lord said, go ye into the world and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We have gone ye, and we are building this structure. Support us wherever you are. And as you support us, God's work will be established to the glory and honor of God's name. May the Lord richly bless you, and thank you for hearing this message. And let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the people who have supported our church. Saint Matthew's Chepkapecha. In prayer, in kind, and even by giving their financial resources, wherever they are, be they in Turkana County, in West Pokot County, and even in Nairobi and further places. Dear Lord, we pray that you richly bless each one and every one of them including our honorable senator who has contributed. We pray your divine blessings and peace be upon him. And now, dear Lord, as we go and disperse, may the peace of God which surpasses human understanding and may the blessings of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Lord be with you.